fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! All right, we are coming back to Demon Hunter. Yes, indeed. Demon Hunter fans, feeling you! Come on now, here we go. Yes, indeed, we have a request here from Daniel Dominguez. Daniel wants to watch me react to this song from Demon Hunter called Lesser Gods. Now... To the best of my knowledge, I have not heard this song before, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Now, obviously, if I start to hear the song and I go, oh yeah, I recognize this, I'll let you know. That's the truth. Okay, I'm just, just letting you know that I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'll let you know if I've heard it before. Uh, this was posted by Demon Hunter. Okay, well, I've been pretty good with them so far. They haven't blocked me yet. Uh, and this video has 268,927 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Demon Hunter, Lesser Gods. It's a lyric video. Let's see if lyrics actually show up. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. going so well until the vocals came in um intro was super heavy you got that elongated no time feel just hitting that b pedal note b pedal note b and then it came in with some straight time went into a half time feel back into that no time feel where it was just pedal you know it was it, the, the time was being maintained it was just no pattern really it was just just counting which was really nice now, I already have a complaint with these vocals. I don't know what that effect is that they're putting on those vocals. I don't like it. It is taking away from the vocals. I would have much rather have heard just a clean vocal coming in. Maybe clean with a little bit of reverb. Maybe a slight delay. Slight delay. 
but they got this ridiculously fast like vibrato like that on top of the vocal and it's driving me nuts i am not a fan of it at all um let's back up 10 seconds hopefully they get rid of that because it if they're gonna do that the entire song they're gonna get a very disappointing score i'm gonna tell you right now a shame i i can hear him singing he's doing a great job vocally like he's singing on pitch he's got a great tone his he's got a breathiness right now to his voice in the softer part and it fits the song so well i god this this filter is killing me this effect this this effect they have on the vocal this ba -ba 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 -ba, it's good it's like nails on a chalkboard. I oh, God, I can't stand it. All right. Ugh. Thank God when they went into the chorus with the screamo part, it disappeared. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, they had that halftime too. They went, they was straight time, and then in the chorus they went straight time, and then the second half of the chorus they went to that halftime feel again. Very cool. Very cool. Dug that. I'm digging everything about this except that vocal effect. And unfortunately, it's so present. It's so obvious. It's so over the top. It's taking away from the song. For me, it is anyway. I, uh. All right, let's, let's keep going. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. That was nice.
It's a great song. It, it, it's a shame it was polluted. Yeah, I said it. Polluted by that vocal effect. Oh, man. Well, there you go, folks. That was Demon Hunter with Lesser Gods. That was a request from Daniel Dominguez. All right. <laughs> I had to think about this one. I'm not going to lie. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10... Uh, yeah. All right. I'm Okay, I'm going to give this an 8.3. Yep, 8.3. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? I loved everything about this song. I loved the structure. It was well constructed. Intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro. Loved it. Great structure. I would have loved to have heard a guitar solo. <laughs> but, guitar solo aside, well-constructed song. Well-written song, too. I like songs in B. D is my favorite. I'm not gonna draw, I'm not gonna lie. I love drop D songs. But, if I had to pick a second, I would go with B. I like B, too. B is a great, great key to, to, be, able to, be, to be playing songs in. Um, musically, it had a nice, whoever engineered this, I, I want to give all the praise in the world, and I want to slap at the same time. I just want to pummel whoever organized, whoever engineered this, while giving them all the praise in the world. Um, guitar tone, thick, heavy, loved it. Great use of chordal's structure. I mean, the, the guy was not doing anything crazy, no melodic lines, just chord, fill, heavy, full, loved it. Um... Bass, I couldn't really hear a whole lot of, but I, I I could hear it. It was there. It just wasn't very forward. You know me. I'm a bass player. I want to hear more bass. I always want to hear more bass. Um, it's you know it's just something I want to hear because I play it. Uh, but it was well mixed. I mean, it, it for for the for the general masses for the audiences, it was mixed right. Okay, I'll say that it was mixed well as far as bass goes. My preferences aside, I know why they did it. I accept it. Vocally, I love the heart. I love the um, the chorus. Um, and I loved the bridge. I love his tone, both for the screamo and the singing, especially in the verses where he had that kind of breathiness. It fit the mood of the verse. Everything came down, and it got really quiet. And he was using that breathy voice like this. And it sounded awesome. My only complaint, and it's a big one, unfortunately, is the use of that effect on the verse. I don't know who engineered this. I don't know what they were thinking. But whoever decided to put that effect on that voice and destroy what could have possibly have been a great verse needs to be shot because that was just a terrible decision. Whoever put that effect on there needs, he needs to find a new line of work. I don't know who did that. I don't know who decided, who had the call to put that effect on there, but it wrecked the verses for me. Absolutely wrecked them. And I know it's not that big a deal, but it is. When you're talking about the vocals that are carrying the song, see that's the part. The verses were being carried by the vocals. So the vocals in the verses were the only thing moving the song along. So they were the most important part. Why would you ruin them by putting that effect on? That's like, that's like baking this amazing chocolate souffle. You, 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 you spend all this time in preparation and carefully making this gorgeous souffle and then you ruin it by taking yellow mustard and squirting it on it. The hell are you thinking? What the hell? God, anyway, I if that vocal effect had not been there, this would have gotten an 8.7, 8.8, maybe even 8.9 all day long. But that vocal effect, I just can't get over it. I'm sorry, I can't. So that is why it went down to an 8.3. I know that probably was not the band's fault. I understand, but it's a conglomerate. It, it, they had to have had some say in this. They had to, after the engineer was done destroying the vocal line with that effect, the band probably went into the booth 
with the engineer. The engineer played it back, looked at them and said, what do you guys think? And they probably went, sounds good. So they are to be held accountable. Yes, it is partly their fault. They said, sounds good. No, it doesn't. Anyway, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, 8.3, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Now, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it will keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous. And support each other. Later. Peace.